Welcome back everyone. Samsung has just rolled out One UI 8 and with it comes some brand new features and some big improvements over One UI 7. So in today's video, I'm breaking down seven key features that make your Galaxy device smarter, smoother, and more fun to use. So stick around till the end. And if you find this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment about which feature you're most excited about. So the first feature is where you can turn on in-game panel for games. Samsung has refined its game panel in One UI 8. Now, instead of hunting through menus, you can simply toggle it directly within the game. So the panel gives you instant access to performance settings, FPS counters, screen recorder, notification toggle, and even quick access to Discord. So let me show you how you can get this. So before we begin, you wanna go ahead and open up settings, scroll down and find advanced features. From here, scroll down and find game booster settings. Tap on this, and now go ahead and scroll down and find about game booster. So the version number which you're looking for is 8.0.01.10. So make sure your game booster has been updated to that version. Now, once that's updated, go back. Now in this game booster settings, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find in-game panel. So where it says where to access the in-game panel, make sure it's set to navigation bar button. So now you can go ahead and start the game. So here I'll go ahead and start the Riptide game. So now when I go ahead and look at my navigation bar, I'll see this in-game menu. So here I'll be able to access the system monitor, floating menu, or touch protection, take a screenshot, record. I can go ahead and block navigation bar, block edge panels. I can even block the auto brightness and also block Bixby. In the pop-up tabs, I can go ahead and bring all of these apps in pop-up apps. So this means zero interruption while gaming, you get smoother gameplay, easy streaming, and better control without leaving your game screen. The second feature is where you can turn on the glass effect on your icons. So One UI 8 introduces a new customization option where your home screen icons can now have a glass-like transparent effect. So it gives a modern premium feel to your UI. It's reflecting wallpaper colors and subtle light and shadow. So this glass effect on icons, you'll find it in the Good Luck module. So go ahead and open up the Good Luck app. Now in the Good Luck app, go ahead and tap on Theme Park. And here, tap on Icons, tap on Create New. And now go ahead and tap on Effects, just at the bottom. And here you'll see the glass effect. Now go ahead and configure your edge, light, and the angle. Go ahead and choose a color if you like. Now once you're done, tap on Save at the top right. Go ahead and give this a name. Now go ahead and tap on this and then go ahead and apply this. So now when you go ahead and look at your icons, you'll see that they're all running on a glass effect. So your phone looks cleaner, fresher, and more personalized. So it's not just functional, it makes your Galaxy feel like a brand new hardware. The third feature is where you can watch photos while listening to music. So this improvement lets you browse your photo gallery while your music continues playing in the background without interruption. In One UI 7, switching apps sometimes caused stutter or playback issue, but now it's seamless as both apps will be running together. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up your internet browser. Now go to your favorite video on YouTube. And then now you wanna go ahead and press home. Now you wanna go ahead and open up gallery. Now once gallery is open, go ahead and press the task viewer. Then you want to go ahead and tap on gallery at the top and then tap on open in split screen view. At the top, you have your gallery. Now at the bottom, you want to go ahead and choose the internet browser. So now you can go ahead and press play on this. While at the bottom here, you can go ahead and view all your pictures. So you're listening to this music from the bottom. Your sound is playing and you're also browsing through your photos. So this is perfect for when you're curating photo albums, editing reels, or just reminiscing all while vibing to your playlist. The fourth feature is where you can reset your system cache after updating One UI 8. After installing One UI 8, Samsung recommends a manual system cache reset. You do this by entering recovery mode and selecting wipe cache partition. So unlike a factory reset that does not delete your personal apps or files, it only clears temporary leftover files from the previous version. Now, if you don't reset this cache after a big update, your phone may feel sluggish, the apps might stutter, animations can lag, or the camera shutter may delay. So by clearing the cache, you're basically giving the new system a fresh start, which means you have smoother performance, longer battery life, less app crashing, and no random freezes or stutter. So let me show you how to do this. So here we need to go ahead and take a USB wire, 
connect the one end to your PC or Mac and connect the other end to your S25 Ultra or your Samsung device. Now next you want to go ahead and hold the volume down button and the power button until your phone shuts down. Now once it's shut down, go ahead and change that to volume up and the power button. Hold this until you see the Samsung logo. Once you see the Samsung logo, then you want to go ahead and leave the power button. And this takes you into the recovery mode. So now you can go ahead and use the volume up and volume down control to control where you want to go ahead and tap. You want to go ahead and find wipe cache partition. Now, once that's done, go ahead and hit the power button and that'll select it. Confirm it one more time. Yes. And now you have reset your cache partition. Now go ahead and reboot your phone. Now after this, you can go ahead and disconnect your USB-C wire and this will restart automatically. The fifth feature is how you can turn on true multi-window split screen layout. So One UI 8 takes split screen multitasking to the next level. So now you can snap one app to the bottom and have another app above it with just adjustable ratios. So even the extreme ones like 90 to 10 split. This makes switching between apps so much quicker and easier. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example, I'll go ahead and open up Google. And let's just say I want to split this with some other app. So I'll tap the task manager. I'll go ahead and tap on the name at the top and open in split screen view. Now I'll go ahead and choose another app. So let's go ahead and choose the gallery. So as you can see at the top here, I've got my Google and at the bottom here, I've got my gallery. Now I can go ahead and configure this so that it shows up in a 90 to 10 ratio. So here at the top, I can go ahead and browse through Google. How when I'm done browsing through Google, I can go and just tap at the bottom and this will open up my gallery. I can go ahead and browse through these photos. And if I'm done with that, I can go ahead and tap at the top and this will basically switch between these two tabs. So this is perfect for productivity. You can take notes while watching a lecture. You can chat while browsing or keep a calculator pinned while doing finances. So it's the closest thing to a PC style multitasking on your phone. The sixth feature is where you can swipe down and swipe up to get camera controls. Samsung improved the camera gestures. So now you can swipe up and down on the camera preview to bring up controls like settings, flash, timer, the ratio, the megapixels, and many more. So this is faster and more intuitive compared to tapping tiny icons. So let me show you how you can turn on this feature where you swipe up or swipe down to get access to quick control. So first go ahead and open up the camera app. Next tap on the four dots, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find this setting called swipe preview up and down. So tap on this and make sure to switch from off to open quick controls. Now go back. Now you wanna go ahead and swipe up or down and this will give you access to your quick control. So this makes photography faster and one handed friendly, especially when capturing quick moments where seconds matters. And lastly, the seventh feature is how you can use AI select to get directions to locations on your Samsung Galaxy device. So One UI 8 introduces AI select navigation. So when you highlight or select a location in text or a photo, an AI option pops up, letting you get instant direction in maps without copying and pasting. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and open up the Google Chrome. And in Google Chrome, I've just basically searched for London Bridge. So let's just say I want direction to London Bridge, or I wanna know where this London Bridge is. So I can go ahead and open up my quick panel, tap on AI select, and then I can go ahead and circle the London Bridge. Now, when I do this, I get this option for a map. So I can go ahead and tap on this and then I can go use the map. And from here, I can go ahead and navigate to the London Bridge. So this saves time and effort. So no more jumping between apps. It's a smart shortcut that feels truly next gen. And there you have it, seven standout features in One UI 8 that makes your Samsung Galaxy device even more powerful. Some are small quality of life improvements and some are game changers for productivity and customization. Which feature are you most excited about? Do you think One UI 8 is a big upgrade over One UI 7? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more Galaxy tips, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.